Welcome back to Dishonet. We are working on our guacamole guacamole salsa. That's hard to say. Salsa. 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 I like the salsa. Isn't there some movie where there's it's like your fit? No, it's Seinfeld where they say that salsa is everybody's favorite condiment because it's so fun to say. Salsa. 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 Do you say salsa or salsa? Salsa. Salsa. <laughs> Um, I like the salsa dance, I will tell you, I do. But guacamole is what we are making today, and we decided to throw um, some tostadas in, because, I mean, salsa, first of all, you eat it with chips or something. Right, so tostada is just like a chip, but in a different like form, this. right? That's what it is. And this was one of my favorite yeah. things that I would get at Taco Bell, and oh, they yes. don't make it anymore. They don't, I'm do they? so sad about that, they yes. They put, like, uh, refried beans on the bottom yeah. layer. Yeah, you know, That's something that you could add I love to it this so recipe much. if you really like to do that. Up. So but I'm finely chopping the tomatoes. Yeah, that's Kelly tough. told I know. me they weren't fine. Well, enough. you know, I don't like them too. Well, and they are going yeah. on top of the, you know. And and here's yeah. the deal. This is a salsa. You could technically put some in here as well. And that's, yes. you know, when I'm I think that it's more this in this case is more about the layering and you're going to see the different textures, you're going to yeah. see the different colors and you know, I think that always makes things taste better. I agree. But I you're agree. right, you don't want too big of chunks in anything because you want all these flavors to like meld together. Meld together. All right, I'm oh. gonna put the tostada shells right there to the side. Okay. Now, it does call for um, some fresh what? lime juice. Oh. One fourth cup, I'm gonna go ahead and put I that in. I love lime juice. I do too. I put it in my water all the time. I actually prefer lime juice to lemon juice in so many cases. You know, I do too. One yeah. reason is, is yeah. because you don't have to deal with the seeds. Oh. That's one reason yeah, for me. That's Cause, true. Because the lemon you got to. I never thought about it like yeah. that. That is so true. You just like like when you go into a restaurant and you order a water. Do you order it with lime instead of lemon? Well, usually no, because oh. I don't want to. I, I assume they don't have lime. But oh. you know what? I should. But at home, I love to buy lime. I do too. And sometimes just to make it easier, I buy the you know the juice bottles that yeah. are supported. They don't have to deal with seeds either way. I got you. Either way. <laughs> either way. Okay. What kind of olives are those? Okay. These are. Those are like the Spanish Alamata? ones, right? Olives. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, this is kind of weird just to have one glove, but that's we're we're out, so our hands are all washed and clean. So I did not think about putting olives in salsa or. Well, guacamole. this goes on top of the tostada. Okay. So we're working on two different things here, guys. So again, new color, new yeah, texture. Yeah, more color, I love more it. texture. Um, we have got the vegetables roasting in the oven. Mm. And we're gonna do a fine chop when they come out and put them in. Yeah, and with really the that's to taste, you know, how fine you want to chop it. You can chop it into big pieces. If you want everything really fine, you could bring your food processor out and just stick that it in is there true. and that is do true. it that way. And sometimes when I do that though, with salsa, I feel like it just it's like too liquid. Yeah. You know, like too fast. I, I'm with you it's on like that. It's like liquid salsa. And I do want some chunks. So. I do. I like a little bit of the texture. I'm gonna check on this. Yeah, see how it's doing. Is it it's is hot. It, is it hot? It's very hot. Oh, do you smell that? Do you guys smell that at home? Oh my goodness, how can something <laughs> simple like that be so uh, good? It's those onions, right? Well, and the garlic. We've got some garlic cloves. We do there. have some garlic cloves. How many cloves? garlic cloves does this call I think for? it would call for uh, two, two, two okay. garlic cloves, yep. Do you go heavy on garlic at home? I do like it. I love garlic. I do like it. I'm it's like, so two cloves, that's about eight to me. <laughs> you add the more garlic? Yeah, I mean, that might be a little much, but I do love, love, love fresh garlic. I do too, it's so good. Or powdered garlic, Can or I the just, kind that's already pre-chopped for already you. Cho you know? Oh, I do that too. Yeah, is there anything else to cut up, or do you want me to work um, You know what, um, I think if you want to go ahead and open the beans. Oh, hand me that, um, yes. We will do Thank that. You. But I would just oh, that's to say that these the olives are from Price Cutters olive bar, mm, which I is so that. amazing. There's so many different varieties to choose from. Yes, there are. I mean, some olives I don't even know the names of, but I don't um, either. these black olives I could have bought in the can, but I thought, why do that when you've got no, a fresh olive are. bar right there at Price Cutter that people just can go and load up on different kinds of olives. It makes such a great appetizer for people. It or, does, and you can just get how much you want, you know? Yeah. So you can buy a little bit of a lot of different things. That's Put right. Out on a, I just love the appetizer trays and yes. the charcuterie boards and stuff like that. We so. did that yesterday, it's so good. Yeah. And then also they sell at the deli, um, like blends of olives and feta cheese in olive yep. oil. It's so good. Yep. 
all that salty goodness, you know, salty. the feta and the olives. I love it. Now, do you like black olives? Because some, or green olives, some people just like one you or know, the other. I didn't like any olives till about 15 years ago, and we were in Greece, and I was like, okay, I'm in Greece. There's olive trees everywhere. I have to try some olives. Yes. And I did. Of course, they had the pits still in them, you know, oh, yeah. so I had to learn how to eat around those. Yeah. Um, but I was like, oh my goodness, I've been missing out all these years, and I don't know why I hated them with a passion before that. But then at that how point, how could you know you hated them if you never tried? Well, no, I did try them, oh, but I, gotcha. then it had been lots of years, you okay. know. And you know how your tastes change. And yes. I think that we become like where we like more salty the older we get. Maybe yeah. our taste buds are dying slowly. I don't, I don't know. know, but I want more salt <laughs> than I ever have. And I so once I started loving the green olives. I've branched out. Now I will uh, order black olives on my pizza. Oh olives. yes, I do love it. Yeah. But I've always been kind of I like I've always liked pickles and anything with vinegar. That sort of thing has always been tasty and delicious to me. Yeah. All right. So you've got that. What we want to do, I think, is let's check on this again and see how this is coming. Soft. Is it up. getting soft? Yeah. I think we're going to turn that up up a up little bit. Up a little bit. Yeah. It's at 450. I don't know if it's going to go up anymore, Kel. Okay. That's all right. We'll just. Yeah. We'll just let it do its thing. And like Cami said, we can use a food processor if you want to do that, or a blender or whatever you've got. But um, hopefully that gets. Uh, but we have some mad knife skills, right? We also <laughs> we also have a blender which we we could use at some point too. Yeah, um, I've got one of those blenders at home that you can just hit it just real quick and yeah. it kind of it does the same thing as a food processor. Yeah, that's you know? good. Easy. All right, so and, and this calls for um, cilantro. Where does that go? Oh, I saw some cilantro around here. One bunch one of, of cilantro. Your... Yes, it's right here. Ugh. And I'm just trying to see if I that love is just cilantro. All right, Cam, why don't you chop that up a little bit more finely, and we'll go ahead and put it in. Okay. And Wait, I think the we'll... cilantro. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I think what we're going to do with that <laughs> is. Um... I don't know if you're still talking about my tomatoes. Oh, oh no, you're doing good. <laughs> Those tomatoes are okay. perfect. They, they pass the Kelly test. They do. And okay. so. We are, I'm trying to decide whether we're going to add a few of these black olives to the mix as well as some of the tomato to the mix. Well, yeah, you could add um, a little bit of it and then still top it. You yeah, know, we could but not go over do that because um, I like all these things. I like all the extras in, don't you? I do. Right. I love the strong flavors the salt, flavors. the cilantro. Good job. Your chopping skills are amazing. Oh, thanks, Kel. All right, and, and I just brought, uh, I've got a little bit of cheese here that goes on top of the tostada, and this is looking good. I think we're going to warm up that uh, bean. Warm up the beans and we're going to be good. We will be back right after this.